What's up, it's Nate. I'm online, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Amazon Flex, I think. If not, I will be very shortly. It is 10 a.m., well, it's 10.07 a.m. I started my dash at 10 a.m. Got an order for Bob Evans already. It is Wednesday, so it's the third day of my quest, my mission, my goal to make $1,000 in one week. I think I've hit about $175 on Monday and Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, so hopefully it goes pretty well too. My original goal was 2,000, or no, I wish, 2,000 a day, that would be pretty cool. My original goal was to try to hit 200 a day. I fell a little short of that, mostly because I ended kind of early. It started to get dark at 175, I was pretty happy. Yesterday dinner was slow, even though lunch was good, but dinner was slow, so that was kind of weird. But anyway, we're on our way. This is about a $14 order on Grubhub. I'm going 2.6 miles to drop it off. I just got the food. Let's go deliver. Hey, what's up? It's Nate. It is Thursday. I'm online. Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash right now. Currently 10.07 a.m. Went online at 10 a.m. Already got an order for Dunkin' on DoorDash. I grabbed it. I think it was 7.75 for like nine miles. But hang on, it's not. that's not a good order. But it is going from where I am to the place that I want to dash. So it's about a nine mile drive to get there. I, I wouldn't take the order if it was in any other circumstances, but it's gonna locate me right where I wanna be. So that's the reason I accepted the order. It's good to go. I'm gonna drive there anyway. Might as well get paid for the miles, right? This is, like I said, Thursday, so day four of my quest to make $1,000. Yesterday, I did one order, made about $14. And then the family and I decided to head up north to check out the Tunnel of Trees up in, uh, I think, near Harbor Springs, Michigan. It's just a nice scenic drive, winding road with some hills and some trees, kind of like a tunnel. We went to see the fall colors. There were some fall colors. There were also a lot of bare trees and also some green trees, so it was strange. And a lot of snow on the way. Very strange fall season this year. We did that, so I only did one order yesterday. That's okay. I'm still pretty confident I can make the $1,000 this week. It's just gonna, gonna be a little more difficult than if I had worked every day. It is Thursday, and I'm just getting started. I'm gonna go deliver this Dunkin'. I already have it, and we're gonna see what we can do today. Woo! I have a Grubhub pickup for Jacob. This will come out the window. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, it is now 10.52 a.m. I've only done the two orders, so the Duncan, that one, it was a longer drive, so that one took me, I guess, 22 minutes because I dropped that off at 10.22. My dash actually ended at 10.22. I had to start a new dash. That's okay because I already had it scheduled. Then I grabbed that Rally's order. Now it is 10.52 a.m. Those are the only two I've done. So it's a little early for lunch, a little late for breakfast. It's kind of the dead spot in between, but still I was hoping, I was hoping it would be a little better for that first hour. It wasn't. I've been getting a lot of offers from DoorDash, but they're all small, like two, $2.50, $3 for however, it doesn't matter how many miles. If it was half a mile, I'm not doing that. All right, hopefully we get something good soon. Lunch should start kicking in. I hope. I just grabbed a $12 stack on DoorDash, Chipotle, and Panera, about five miles, so I don't know. I, I don't like taking stacks like that just because, what is that, $6 each? Maybe it's a good stack. I, I'm not really sure how to think about stacks, but anyway, I'm at Chipotle, so I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna do it. All right, the Chipotle was ready. DoorDash did that weird thing again where I picked up the stack, it navigated me to Chipotle, and then when I got there, it said, pick up your Panera. So it navigates you to one store, but the first pickup is actually the other one. I went into Chipotle anyway, and it was ready. So now I'm headed to Panera, which is just down the street, and hopefully it'll be ready. The Panera was not quite ready, but the dude was bagging it up kind of when I walked in. So it was like, a, I mean, a 25 second wait, not a big deal. Got it, ready to go. We got 1.8 miles to the first drop off. All right, dropped off to Chipotle at a hotel. I met him at his room. He gave me a $5 cash tip on top of the $4 he tipped in the app. So much appreciated on that. 3.1 miles to the Panera drop-off. All right, got the Panera dropped off. Leave at the door. There was a hidden tip, 35 cents. So that ended up, that ended up being 6.35. So the total stack was 12.35 instead of 12, plus the $5 tip. So 17.35 for, I don't know, five miles. That ended up being a very good order. I mentioned before, I don't really know how to look at stacks. Like I, 
I think I need to start thinking of them as a whole, like $12 for five miles is a good order. But I look at it like I'm going five miles and what, that's a $6 order and a $6 order. I wouldn't take those orders. Or a lot of times it'll be like a, a $9 order and a $3 order. I would never take the $3 order. But I don't know if, I, I should probably stop thinking of it that way and just think of it as like a delivery. It's $12, they want me to go five miles. I have to go to two, two different restaurants, so I have to keep that in mind and whatever. But I think I need to kind of change my mindset on stacked orders. Because I decline a lot of them because I'm like, I don't know, $10 for three miles. That means it's a $5 order and a $5 order. I wouldn't take a $5 order ever, you know, usually anyway. So I don't know. Let's go see what's next. It is now 1124 AM. Hello. All right, so I picked up this uh, Walgreens order, three items, $10, 2.5 miles to the drop off. I got to the checkout and I swiped the card, said declined or couldn't be processed or whatever. I'm like, that's strange. Do it again, do it again. We tried it three times. She kept saying, try it again. I finally looked at my at, at my phone and it said, hey, what are you doing? You never clicked proceed to checkout so we didn't load your card. So yeah, that was my fault. It's okay. What are you gonna do? So I do have the items now though. It looks like some cat litter, LaCroix and some chapstick and we're headed, what did I say? 2.5 miles, I already said that. So let's go drop it off. It's actually now 4.45 p.m. I don't think I mentioned, about 12.30, I went home, ended my dash then. It was pretty slow for lunch, which is kind of a bummer. I'm at $43, I think, for the day. So came back out about 4.40 or something. Like I said, 4.45 right now. I've got an order for Cancun Mexican Grill. I'm gonna pick that up. It's a $14 order, I think going fairly far. All right, I'm gonna go get the Cancun and we will get it delivered. All right, super quick pickup. They actually met me at the door with the food. He was walking it up and said, are you Hunter? Or is this for Hunter? Heck yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go get it delivered. We are nine miles, 9.9 .9 miles, 10 miles actually, holy cow. All right, I got the Mexican food dropped off. It was actually at the hospital. I had to go in the ER entrance. That's the only entrance that's open. They're no, and they messaged me and said, security will bring it up. Just let them know what room I'm in. And security said, heck no, we don't do that. We're not even allowed. So that was strange, but they called the, I guess the nurse and they said they would come get it. So awesome. I don't know what I, I think I said it was a $14 order. It was actually like $17.54 on that. If the tip comes through, not a bad order for 9.9 .9 miles little iffy but a pretty good start i suppose i'm gonna head a few miles back to where i want to dash and see what we get next hopefully dinner is booming because i need to make up for slow lunch it is 5 14 p.m all right it's now 5 37 p.m i just picked up an uber eats stack turns out it's at denny's and popeyes so denny's is always slow and popeyes i it's horrible but it's like a 24 dollar stack 12 miles but like 24 dollars. so i'm gonna do it I'm at Denny's. It was right across the street from where I was. So hopefully it's ready. Might get lucky today. The Denny's was not only ready, the milkshake that is coming with it is kind of already starting to melt, which is a problem for me. You have to know when you order a milkshake for delivery that it, you know, it's going to start to melt by the time it gets there, no matter what the delivery driver does. But in this case, it's already starting to melt and I still have to go to Popeye's and Popeye's is, hey. last I knew, I checked a couple days ago, Popeye's lobby was still closed, so you have to go through the drive-thru, which is always long and slow. We'll see, I really wanna keep it. I think, I think like a, I think I said $24 order, I think. Wish me luck. This line is not moving. And Popeye's is actually on the other side of this building. And their lobby is closed. Uber Eats is kind of frustrating because I don't know of any way to tell you know, the amount of each delivery, so it's a stack. I first of all can't tell where the drop-offs are after I've already accepted it. I don't know any way to see the addresses and I don't know how to see like the individual totals. Like if I drop, actually, I don't even know if I can drop one of the two deliveries. So if I drop or unassign this Popeyes, I don't know, the other one might be a $2 delivery, but it might be worth it. I might do that. We've been sitting here in this line, it, it's not moving. Popeyes has also been out of chicken quite a few times that I've come here, so. 
yikes okay so i was able to drop this popeyes order which i did it's unfortunate but i had to unassign it and the other one is 3.3 miles away so that's good i think the whole thing was a 12 mile trip so the popeyes must have been the farther delivery it may have been more money too but at this point it's just not worth it to wait in that line it's gonna be half hour or more i hadn't moved i got there i waited for five minutes and it didn't move so i'm not really interested uh i'm gonna take this 3.2 miles now Okay, I got that Denny's dropped off. I looked, that order was supposed to be $9.75. So actually the other one, uh, the Popeyes would have been a $15 order, which was even better. But $9.75 wasn't bad for this delivery. I'm a little concerned because you know on Uber, like you get the base pay and then they have an hour or whatever to adjust the tip. Her shake was melted when I picked it up. And I mean, it wasn't that melted, but you know, it was starting to. And then I waited at Popeyes and it's okay. She got her shake, she got her food, she came out and got it. The app did say, hey, you're at the wrong location. Are you sure this is delivered? It was the correct location based on the address and she came out and got the food. So, I mean, must have been the right place or someone got some free food. Anyway, I'll at least get the $4 base pay on that one because there is a boost right now. So, all right, let's head back and see if we can get something better than that. All right, I picked up a DoorDash order from Panera. We've got about three miles to the drop off, 6.50. Not a great order, but not a terrible order, and potential for hidden tip. All right, there was a dollar fifty hidden tip on that, so it ended up being eight dollars. So I'm it took it from a eh, kind of borderline order to a pretty decent solid order. All right, I took a Little Caesars order on DoorDash. You saw the delivery there. It was 550 for like one and a half miles. So, you know, I don't like 550, but one and a half miles, it was quick. Little Caesars is actually usually ready by the time you get there and it was, so. Uh, but she gave me a $5 cash tip, so that's amazing. I've gotten three cash tips in the last two days. Well, I guess not yesterday because I was, uh, but the last like two full delivery days. So uh, Tuesday and today, Thursday. So that's awesome. That's really cool. I picked up a Los Tres Amigos. I've got to go get that. It's Grubhub. I'm pretty close to the restaurant, so should be there shortly. Hopefully it's ready. It is now 7.17 p.m. I just grabbed an order on Uber Eats for Panera. It was like $9.09, .09, I think. Should just be going a couple miles. So I'm headed back to Panera. It is dark outside. I was hoping to make a few more dollars, another 15 maybe. So this will be nine, we'll see. If I do one after this, depends on how smoothly this goes. If it goes pretty smoothly, I might try to grab another order. If not, I might call it quits. Just because it's so darn dark. The real problem is this weekend, I think, is when we fall back. So we set our clocks back an hour, which means it's gonna be, it's gonna get dark at five o'clock. It's gonna make it real rough. We'll deal with it. Okay, I'm on my way to Panera and DoorDash sent me an order for Panera. So I grabbed that. It, the delivery is about in the same direction, so it should work out really well. And I've got about a mile mile and a quarter to Panera. I'm expecting their, these orders should be pretty close to being ready when I get there if they're not already ready. All right, both Panera orders were ready 1.1 miles to the first drop off and then less than a mile to the second. This worked out very well. Hello, Laura. Yeah. All right, first Panera delivered. Even though it was leave at the door and she had notes to buzz this apartment come in come up the stairs first door on the right leave it on the doormat she met me outside and walked to my car so easy enough for me i don't have to worry about getting buzzed in and all that so Turn yeah right half mile right to the right next right. delivery all right that delivery is done there was a hidden tip instead of 650 it was eight dollars so that ended up being a very good order good stack that i did between doordash and uber eats Oh, let's see. It's 7.38 right now. It's very dark. I'm going to drive kind of through town, the area with restaurants, and see if I get any good orders. I'm going to be pretty picky, I think, and uh, maybe head home. So I'll let you know whether I get an order or if we call it quits for the night.
All right, I grabbed a Cracker Barrel order on Uber Eats. It might be my last one tonight. I think it's six miles, 12, 22, I think. $12 and some change, I think for about six miles. So I hope it's ready. This Cracker Barrel is always a crap shoot, whether it's gonna be ready or I have to wait 10 minutes. So hopefully this one's ready. All right, it is 8.02 p.m. I actually just got off the phone with Uber support. Cracker Barrel ran out of meatloaf and that's pretty much the only thing they ordered. It was a family meal meatloaf and then a peg game. I didn't know you could order peg games for delivery from Cracker Barrel. Apparently you can. Unfortunately, the food they wanted, Cracker Barrel didn't have. So I had to call Uber so they could verify it and then cancel the order and then pay me my $4 customary thank you for trying uh, payment. It's normally three, but I guess there's a boost on that. So they gave me $4 today. I've noticed every single, like literally 100% of the time that I call Uber and say the restaurant doesn't have everything, they always put me on hold to call the restaurant. Every single time they get back on the phone and say, well, nobody picked up at the restaurant. So that's a little interesting. I wonder if they actually call or restaurants are just busy and don't answer the phone. It's hard to say. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits right there. I'll put the totals on the screen. I think we're getting close to $500 for the week, which is behind where I want to be, but we might still be in good shape. I've got, what, three days? I should be able to do it. We'll see. Last Saturday was so slow, though, so if this Saturday's like that, that'll make it even tougher. Comments in the comment section, questions, concerns, anything you have, drop a like on the video. If you like this video, subscribe, please. We are so close to 500. Maybe we'll even have hit 500 by the time I put this video out. I hope so. Anyway, thanks for watching.